this is interesting so this is courtesy of the verge right and this is something that makes a lot of sense if i be completely honest considering if i kind of weigh up the way that i interact with this app itself this is courtesy of the verge it says the following the verge says this oh why is it not loading oh why does it do this for god almighty okay let's go back here so this is courtesy of the verge it's got this of this so the verse is the following head of instagram says instagram is no longer a photo sharing app right it's a really bizarre headline to read but it does make a lot of sense if you kind of read into it a little bit especially if i kind of like i said compare how i use the app itself it says instagram is no longer a photo sharing app according to adam mosiri the head of instagram in a video post on his instagram and twitter accounts mosiri said that the company is looking to lean into entertainment and video after seeing the success of competitors like tiktok and youtube he described some up-and-coming changes and experiments that instagram will be doing including showing user recommendation to the topics um, they're not following and making video more immersive by offering full screen experience we heard recently about instagram's experiments with algorithmic additions inside the main feed but the idea basing them off of topics that users can select appears to be a new one for their platform the app has also uh, had a full screen video experience um the, the, sorry, the app has also had full screen video experiences for a while for posted content on igtv and reels and stories but Masuri says the company wants to embrace video more broadly the message that instagram is sending is clear it's no longer wants to be thought of as a square photo sharing app as Masuri puts it but instead as a general entertainment app driven by algorithms and videos at the moment though it's vague as to how instagram plans are doing that and whether it'll be improving and innovating on features popularized by apps like tiktok and just making something a new with a few facebooky tweets so when you hear that it's pretty you know shocking to hear because you what the one thing you do associate instagram with is the feed and the kind of square image but if i compare how i use the app and you know i'm not really the best case scenario for it because i'm not that attached to social media platforms in general i can go weeks and maybe months without posting or engaging with them for the most part but i know some people live on these things every single day every minute of the day but for me personally i don't necessarily post a lot of stuff on my feed if i do post stuff on my feed it's usually centers around maybe the books that i'm like mostly self improvement improvement stuff um stuff that i've work that i've done myself whether it's kind of graphic design art whether it's djing stuff or way of working out and that's mostly it and then um or some photography bits and bobs but the types the kind of like shit posting feedy sort of stuff i mostly leave that to my instagram stories which i then don't use that often but then when i do jump on the app because i try to my best to kind of like the content that i'm into so my and my algorithm or my feed kind of caters more to stuff that i like and i get less dancing tiktok -y videos and more working out skateboarding um dj stuff and all that stuff that i like and trainers and fashion all that sort of stuff um i found myself when i remember on my feed i found myself spending more time checking out clips of stuff like people lacing shoes up people talking about a drop people talking about a workout or whatnot like or even watching a workout and saving them to my bookmarks then i do spend time going on my main feed and checking what people have loaded on their square bit of the instagram because i think because for the most part if you're on your main feed on instagram what you're seeing is mostly for the most part is what people are uploading on their feed but i don't necessarily post on my feed and i don't necessarily check what other people post on their feed i'm always in the discovery bit of the app so i'd imagine a lot of other people are the same as i am where they kind of spend most of their time in their little discovery bit maybe sometimes checking instagram stories so because of that instagram have kind of decided or recognized that for the most part most of the content that does well on their stories bit is stuff that moves video clips on people's feed video clips on their stories video clips on their reels so it does make a lot more sense that they're pivoting away from the photo sharing thing but it is disappointing in one sense because part of the a lot part of what made instagram amazing was the photo sharing idea of it the fact that you can you know put these features these filters on your pictures you can make them look a certain way different gradients all that effects and all that stuff and that really kind of helped to bolster its kind of reputation a lot of photographers jumped on there a lot of kind of amateur photographers a lot of people that kind of probably got their start in photography on photography in general mostly based on the platform itself so to see it pivot away from that is disappointing but again considering how much of a force youtube and tiktok is at the moment and also considering that instagram has been bought by facebook they couldn't ignore it right they just couldn't ignore what the competition is saying out there they had to kind of devise a way to make that work and again with you think of stuff like verses and how popular that's been you think of the the countless amounts of um sort of instagram live kind of q a back and forth beefs that have happened all this sort of stuff that have gone on people are going on live in general is added to it like the you know the prevalence of video in general is definitely something that can't go unnoticed on instagram um for sure 
And like I said, my own habits on the app have completely changed. I don't check it at all. I hardly check my feed. Sometimes I'll be on the app and I might randomly accidentally see something on the feed. I'll be like, oh, wow, surprise. I didn't even know. For instance, like I saw one person who I've known for many years. And I didn't even know this person had a baby. And the kid is like, you know, it looks like it's a year old or something. I didn't know she was pregnant. I didn't know she had the kid. And now the kid's a year old. So I've missed legitimately like two and a half years so much of her life that she's uploaded on Instagram stories. And when I watch, sorry, when she, in, she's uploaded on Instagram feed. And when I checked her feed itself, I actually saw, yeah, she did post every you know as any woman would do she posted the entire journey of her pregnancy and i'd completely missed all of it uh, so um i'm not exactly you know interacting with it the way that it kind of has been made i'm actually interacting with it a different way instagram i recognize that and then now they're going to cater towards it so i can't really complain too tough again it would be nice to have it be chronological and not be kind of you know that they kind of purposely put the feed in a certain way to kind of push certain content in front of you so you can watch it different ways they sometimes obviously now implement or insert loads of sponsored bits sometimes bits in there that you don't even follow which they're going to be doing now with the topics and stuff so it's going to be a little bit of a shitty experience and the major thing that i'm still annoyed with that they haven't reintroduced or brought back on the app is the ability ability to kind of search instagram stories via location there was this ability before which is how i was able to kind of globe trot around the world and see what different scenes are saying and check out different clubs and what the vibe is you could basically like select Berghain and click instagram stories you can see loads of these green kind of screened uh, uh videos of people uploading video clips of themselves dancing in you know Berghain, obviously because you can't see because they cover it with a sticker but you see these green screens all over the place where people are uploading clips of themselves outside or inside Duh, 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 duh. and for some reason just before the election in the states it felt like i don't know when it happened or why it happened they, they took that, that feature off and they disabled it so that's really been one of the reasons again why my usage or overall of the app has kind of dwindled over time because you know part of it was to kind of see what everyone was getting up to outside of the scene but interesting pivot interesting to see what that does for creators does that make people want to do more instagram content because it feels like a lot more people a lot less people are on there making stuff it feels like i don't know why um it just feels like people are mostly putting their energies into other platforms and then using instagram as like another sort of distribution platform as opposed to making stuff specifically for that platform itself you know what i mean like um it feels like people are just using it as another like share to option so maybe it's going to drive people back to making specific uh bespoke piece of content that only exists on instagram who knows who decides all those kind of things maybe it will change going forward but i'm interested to see how that develops but yeah instagram is no longer a photo sharing app courtesy of diverge